Hey everybody, this is Ed Brzee from Boomer Tech Adventures. This morning I'd like to talk to you just for a couple minutes about a fun family activity, cross-country skiing. Let's talk about why. Why cross-country skiing, especially this winter. We're still in the middle of, our, of the pandemic. We're trying to stay socially distanced and we need some time outside as well. So our family's been talking about cross-country skiing. We made a few purchases and I'd like to talk to you about that. Connie, come on down here if you would. I've got some brand new skis. Connie, Connie and I both bought some new skis. I'm not here to tell you or to sell you skis, but we're very excited about these. These are my first new cross country skis in probably 30 years. And I'm gonna show you. Cross country skiing is a very easy sport to get started on. If you can walk, you can probably cross country ski and um, there are only a couple things you need. Let's talk about skis first. You don't need anything fancy with skis. These are new because we really plan uh, to spend a lot of time outside this year, especially with our family, whom we can't see inside, but we're gonna try and do some, some adventures outside. Let me just show you how nice these, the difference between skis. The, um, the orange one on the right are my old skis. They were, um, I think I bought them in, a, in the early 60s. They were plastic, they had a heavy three pin binding. But look at the difference here in terms of height. This is 185 centimeters. There's another eight inches on top of that. Those are huge to, <coughs> excuse me, to muscle around. The other nice thing about these, they're much, much lighter. They're easy, easier to turn. And the nice thing about these is you don't have to wax to them. And as you can see, I treated my skis well, but I even used them last year. They were delaminating and I actually put some black duct, duct tape on the end. So we think it was time to get some new skis. So you've got, you've got your equipment. I've got new boots with these. My old, I'll show you that, new boots with these. And they have just a little pin on the front. Let me hold on to something that clips into the, um, can you see the pin there? The pin on the front right in here that actually clips into the, the binding. So those are real easy to get on and off. My old boots were some old leather boots. Um, so the equipment is nicer, but the important thing with all this is that it doesn't matter what equipment you, you have. If you have old equipment, like I had, and I know you can buy used equipment, it works just as well, and it gets you outdoors and, and to have some fun. Um, poles, I've still got my old bamboo poles, and they need to be a certain height. But the point about the equipment is you don't need to go out and spend a lot of money. Um, there are still ski swaps and, and ski shops like ours that took our old equipment, and hopefully they'll sell it and for not very much money and allow somebody else to uh, try out, um, try out cross-country skiing. Well, we're also looking at uh, trying to be outside as much as possible this year with uh, the grandkids because we can't spend time inside. And uh, what else do you need? Well, we literally just walked out our back door here and we're in our backyard right now, um, which is nothing special, but it's flat and um, we're lucky because we're also on the land trust back here so there are lots of uh, cross-country ski trails there if you have a backyard you're all set no matter what size it is you can ski right there especially when you're learning but um, you can also if you're if you're in an apartment or or a high rise or something like that in the city and you don't have a backyard certainly getting to the nearest park or golf course um, or just an open area, you can, you, you're all set. All you need to do is wait for some snow. Um, what else do you need in terms of cross-country skiing? That's the gear, that's pretty, that's pretty easy. Um, let's talk about clothing. Nothing special there, an old pair of jeans. I have a fleece on, but a sweater or a lightweight jacket 
you're gonna you're gonna generate a lot of um, of horsepower. You're gonna be pretty warm. So um, dress in layers, um, hats and gloves and la other layers that you can that you can peel off. I mentioned that um, we're going to cross country ski. Here's please don't tell our grandkids about these because this is their Christmas present. But um, our youngest grandchild, we've got five of skiing age and our youngest is four and these are his skis and um, someone as young as four, as uh, three or four can start cross-country skiing make it fun for them just take them out in the backyard it's great exercise for them and gets them some fresh air you don't need fancy equipment at all um, but it's a great a great time to get them started and they'll have a great time with their parents or their grandparents Okay, what else did I want to say here? Um, learning, like I said, just get outside and just start walking around on them. Uh, this, just this morning, I looked at a couple videos on YouTube and um, it gives you some, some good hints for getting started. You might try there. I'll link uh, with this video a couple of YouTube videos, very short, like uh, three or four minutes, um, just to show you some of the techniques, but it's very easy. Um, I think that's it. That's it. Uh, we want you to get out and have some fun this year. Um, take advantage of, of being outside. We're hearing a lot about spending more time outside, and this is a great example of doing that. By the, by the way, did you know that cross-country skiing is probably the best cardio activity that you can do? So you're going to get lots of activity. It doesn't have to be strenuous. Stop, talk, take a picnic with you out in the, wherever you're skiing, and go from there. I think that's it. This is Ed Brzee with Boomer Tech Adventures. Get some equipment, get out there, and have a good time.